block arithmetic. First of all, we will head over to the open PLC editor. Now, here we are at the open PLC editor. We will start off with the new project. Then we will create a new folder. Thereafter, we will name the folder as Arithmetic First and I will press OK. Then I will change the language as letter diagram. Okay, we are now ready for the power rails here. I will just create the power rail for the left hand side. Then I will add the power rail for the right hand side. There we go. Now I would like to add the block arithmetic and add, which means addition. Now I am first and I am second are numericals and out is also a numerical, which means all of them are integers. Or could be the real number. So let's try out by adding some variables. I am first and then I am second. Let's keep the type of them as D I and D, which means double integer and the output also as double integer. Then I would like to add some variables. First of all, I will use input and the input will be boolean also the preset value and the preset value will be integer then i will use the count value i will keep it as integer now you might have got an idea that I'm going to add another block and the block is going to be from the standard function blocks which is counter up. Now I would like to increase the size of the block and then after will add the coil okay we only have the inputs here so we need to create some more variables here now I think we are ready with the coil which is our output I'll press OK and I will adjust the block size 
then I will join the pins here and I will use the input which means I'm going to need the contact or we could say that normally open contact then I'm going to join these pins here okay then I need a variable the preset value which is our input here to the counter block and I will add an another variable the count value of course it was our output so I will edit it as output and press OK then I will join these pins let me just copy and paste the count value here then modify it as input I will join these pins here and for i and second I will use the variable i and second and I will enter ok the line is red I want to know why let's go to the i and second it's a double integer let me just edit it as integer and then see what will happen okay now it's black and the output is also an integer so I will edit this as out and I will type it as integer and the class will be output I will press OK now I would like to keep the R as it is the reset and I will give the values of the ion second as 5 and out as it is then the preset value will be 15 and okay I guess this is all and let's start the simulation and see how the addition block works the simulation is complete I will click on the classes here and as you can see the for the addition block the counter value or the count value is 0 and the ion 2 is 5 if you add them both which is 5 plus 0 the out or the value of the out is 5 makes sense right now let's see what happens when I modify the input a force it true and the pulse will go to the count up and the count value is now 1 as for the addition block here the count value is 1 so the out or the value as it adds up ion first and ion second the out is 6 now again when I force to true the out is 7 of course and false and true the out is 8 which is like basic arithmetic or basic mathematics and so on and so forth
So this was our addition block and with this our area and see ya. Thank you for watching the video.